Hello! If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, hit the notification bell, hit also the subscribe button so you will be notified for the coming video. Today, I am going to present to you Assesses Regularly Participation in Physical Activities Based on the Philippines Physical Activity Pyramid. I am Farah Toretta, your MAPI teacher for today. Objectives Assesses performance in physical activities Identify the different arm and feet position in a dance and participate in a physical fitness activity based on the Philippines Physical Activity Pyramid. Before we proceed, let's have a review first. Directions. Study the statement below and choose the best answer. Number one. Alvin put all his effort in playing basketball because he loves to play the game. Letter A. Joy of effort. Letter B, respect to others. Letter C, fair play. Number two, the coach reprimands Van for his lousy movement during the game. Instead of getting angry, he is being apologetic and started to play well. Letter A, joy of effort. Letter B, respect to others. Letter C, fair play. Number three, Anna shakes the hand of her opponent who won the game. It was a good game. Letter A, joy of effort. Letter B, respect to others. Letter C, fair play. Number four, David can easily regain the ball from the opponent's hand. What skill does David have? Letter A, agility. Letter B, tactical skills. Letter C, catching skills. Letter D, interception skills. Number five, he is so good at blocking the opponent's attack. So he won at the end of the game. What skill he is good at? Letter A, agility. Letter B, tactical skills. Letter C, defending skills. Letter D, catching skills. We are done with our review questions. I will be posting the answer in the later part of our presentation. Now let's have a pre-activity first. Direction, look at the zigzag puzzle, identify the names of our Philippine folk dances. Okay, let us try to identify the name of this particular dance. Okay, this is the name of the dance is Tinikling. A pair of dancers are hopping between bamboo poles, struck on the ground like tickling in time with music. The dance is originated in Leyte. The dance is Cariñosa. A woman dancer show affection by using handkerchief and a fan to hide her feelings from the dancing suitors. The dance is originated in Bicol. Sinkil. The dancer shows the epic of the Rangan using bells. The dance is originated in Mindanao. 
Let's have another puzzle. This is mag maglalatik. The dancer pretend to battle for the laptic or coconut meat. The dance is originated in Laguna. What to learn? Dance is an activity where you move your body in time with the music. It is a part of human expression. Why do people dance? People dance to celebrate, recreate, compete, perform rituals, and enjoy life. Some dance to stay fit. You as a young person, you have all the qualities to be involved in a dance. You should know what dancing can do to you. What are the benefits of dancing? Motor fitness. This refers to the dance movements that support gross motor coordination and balance. Includes rocking side to side, raising and lowering arms, and swaying arms back and forth. Endurance Lung condition When you dance, your heart rate increases to pump more oxygenated blood to the muscles you are using. The faster your heart beats, the more blood goes to your lungs to gather oxygen and transport it to your tissues. This increase in heart rate helps to strengthen your heart and keep the muscle conditioned. Flexibility it is the range of motion in a joint or a group of joints or the ability to move joints effectively through a complete range of motion. Weight Balance Balance is the ability to maintain the center of gravity of the body while minimizing postural sway. Dancing requires quick changes in the positioning of the body especially in the feet, ankles, knees, and hips. Coordination. It is the ability to efficiently control, execute, and direct your movements in relation to music. Social skills. Through movement, um, students can learn acceptance, respect, teamwork, and cooperation. By extension, students also develop empathy, which is the key to building healthy relationship with others. These are other benefits one gets from dancing. Immune system becomes stronger. Bones and muscles are strengthened. Joints become more flexible. Entire body is toned. Balance and posture improve. Stamina and flexibility increase. Confidence is developed. Social life becomes better. Let's have another activity. So I want you to look at the letters below and scramble the letters to form the different benefits of dancing. You are given five seconds to answer it. Okay, the correct word is coordination. Let's have another one. And the word is flexibility. Okay. And this word refers to motor fitness. Okay, the correct word is weight. Okay, and this one is in Jukrans. Okay, very good. You were able to answer it correctly. What benefit did you get from dancing? 
Dancing can be a way to stay fit for people of all ages, shapes, and sizes. It has a wide range of physical and mental benefits, including improved condition of your heart and lungs, and increased muscular strength, endurance, and motor fitness. How did it help your well-being and confidence? Dance allows people to be more active, socialize, and develop creative and physical skills. Dancing also develops skills that can translate to many non-dance career paths. The confidence gained through achievements in dance builds social skills, increases self-esteem, and the ability to communicate well in a group. Dance to Fitness Dance has been done since the ancient times. It can be done alone, with partner, by a small group, or by large group. You dance in a dance hall, court, dance schools, clubs, dance studios, community halls, or even in your home. On the next slide, I, I want you to focus on the video presentation and the basic dance steps. Basic dance steps of Philippine folk dance in 2-4 time signature. Touch step. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Blacking step. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Step close. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Step up. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Cross step. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Slide step. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Change step. One and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. Cross change step. One and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. Contraganza. One and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. Lane polka. And one and two, and one and two, and one and two, and one and two. Hop polka. And one and two, and one and two, and one and two, and one and two. Heel and toe chain step. One, two, one and two, one, two, one and two, one, two, one and two, one, two, one and two. Okay, um, those were the basic dance step movements. Why is dance so important? Through dance, students learn teamwork, focus, and improvisational skills. Dance awakens new perceptions in children, which help them learn and think in new ways. Children need to express and communicate their ideas and to be given the opportunity to make creative decisions even at a young age. 
this time i will be presenting to you another video presentation it is the fundamental dance step that you need to learn in every folk dances that you would like to engage into in today's video i'm going to introduce you the fundamental positions of arms and feet in folk dance so yeah without any further talk let's get into it first is the fundamental positions of arms so let's start with the first position so place both arms in front of you chest level arms are slightly bent forward just like that second position open arm sideward shoulder level and arms are slightly bent third position bring left arm overhead passing in first position chest level and arms are slightly bent Fourth position, bring the right arm in front of you. First position, arm slightly bent. Fifth position, bring the right arm overhead. Arm are slightly bent. And that is the fundamental positions for the arms. Now let's move on to the fundamental positions for the feet. First position, bring heels touching together and toes are apart. So that's the first position. Second position, step your right foot sideward right. Third position, bring the heel to the instep of your right foot. And so that I can show it better to you guys. So that's the third position. Fourth position, bring your right foot pointing in front of your left foot. And fifth position, bring your right heel touching the toe of the left foot. For the arm fundamental positions, you can start it with your right arm, uh, yes, leading, or the other way around. The same thing with our feet. So you can start with your right foot, you can start with which one you want to, to lead or to move first. It's okay. Both are okay. Now, let's combine the fundamental positions of the arms and feet. Okay, let's start. First position, second position, third position, fourth, fifth, and then back. Other arm and other foot. First position, second position, this time right arm high. fourth and fifth position and then back let's try to put some aesthetic to the this fundamental position so how can we do that so it's this way first position second position third fourth fifth and slowly go back first position second position this time right arm high fourth position, fifth position, and slowly back. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you
why do we need to familiarize with the dance step? Dancers will be more confident in their movement, in their class participation, and in the role as students if they understand or memorize the proper dance steps. Why do we practice warm-up exercises before dancing? Warm-ups are important because they prepare the body for the physical exertion you'll be partaking in later. Warm-ups help raise your internal body temperature and will help increase your heart rate and blood flow to the muscle so you can perform better. These are the different warm-up exercises before dancing. Head bending, neck twisting, arm stretching, arm circling, truck bending, hip rotating, half knee bending, jumping jack, jug in place, inhaling, exhaling. Let's have another activity this time. Okay, still um, we are having a scramble game. Look at the letters below and scramble the letters to form the different benefits of dancing that we have um, discussed a while ago. Okay, again, you are given five seconds to answer it. This one is head bending. Okay, very good. Another one. Have a nice guess. This is neck twisting. And another. And the third one is truck bending. Okay, I think this is the last one. And this one is arm circling very good you did a great job okay remember dancing can improve memory because you need to remember dance steps and research shows that people who dance are not likely to develop dementia to wrap up everything that we have discussed we talk about dances the benefits of dancing basic dance step Fundamental dance position, warm-up exercises before dance. For your performance tasks or learning tasks, um, this is an individual task. You need to follow the given instructions. You are going to create a dance step out from the different arm and feet positions that was presented earlier. You can add music to blend with your dance steps. And afterwards, you take a video of your dance. Then you can submit it to your teacher. And for your activity number three, direction, identify the following if it signifies a dance step by putting a check mark or X mark beside the word. Number one, cross step. Number two, jogging waltz. Number three, hop polka. Number four, standing step. Number five, touch step. Number six, Blacking step. Number seven, half step. Number eight, crossway. Number nine, change step. And number ten, mazorka. There is an evaluation in a form of Google form. All activities are in the evaluation. You can click and answer so you will also know the correct answer for each question. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned something new today.